On this video, I'm going to show you how you can play Marvel Rivals with the mouse and a controller. This is what we call a hybrid setup, okay? I'm going to show you how to do it from zero, starting by connecting your devices to Sync Matrix and how to set up your config. We have our Sync Matrix. Make sure you have the latest beta firmware so you have the, all the new features. The first thing we are going to do is to plug our controller, okay? We're going to plug it in the port three on Sync Matrix, the one in the back, like this. Next, in the port one, we are going to plug our mouse. This is the USB of my mouse. I'm going to put it like this. This is an USB cable that goes to my PC. And as you can see, my Sync Matrix is starting up, okay? In the left side of your screen you can see the scene matrix manager is doing the handshake and now it's plugged that's my default uh, config quick recap we have the controller plug in the back in the port 3 we have the mouse plug in the port 1 okay or scene matrix is plugged to our platform via usb in my case it's via usb because i am using a pc if you are an Xbox, you can use a USB. If you are in PlayStation, it's very important that you have an Ethernet cable. Okay, let's let's go on. Now, let's create or sync config for Malware Rivals. All right, click on the three dots, new config. Okay, and here you're going to type Malware Rivals. There it is. We select it, and next we choose the platform on we are playing. Right. Uh, in my case, I'm playing right now on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5, and here we have to choose or uh, to tell the scene matrix which devices we are using to play, right? Which is our, our inputs. In this case, we are using a controller and mouse and a controller. So on input, we select this one. It should say mouse and gamepad, okay? Now, our amp output or how our console or PC is going to detect our matrix is going to be like a controller, like a USB controller. So we select this one and we click new. And right now, Scene Matrix is loading the smart translators, which are doing all the aiming processing on your game. So we can aim with the mouse and use our controller, all right? Now this window says that you have to set up your game for your smart translator so it can work the best as possible. So it's very important guys, that you go to your game and set up your game properly, okay? Now let's start to making our mappings. We click in the pencil icon. Next, go to the bottom and make sure you are using exactly the same mouse DPI on your scene matrix that has set on your mouse. For me, is 3200. And below, you can see this option over here, switch to advanced editing experience. This is very important, guys, so we can have uh, unlock all the features of Scene Matrix. Okay, so click there. And as you can see, now we have more, ma more options. All right, let's save it. And let's go to the mapping section over here, mappings. And this is my first recommendation. Click here for more options and go to the Manage Automatic Bindings, okay? Right now, Symmetrix has maps all the actions to the ones that come with the controller, right? My suggestion, because we are going to remap our buttons with different actions that the ones that come default is to turn off all of them except the left stick we need the left stick to move okay so let's turn it on all as you can see now my controller has no response and make sure you turn on only the left stick okay like this as you can see we get back the left stick all right now guys our controller is ready to remap on all the buttons different actions let's save it as you can see on our mappings, we already have our left mouse button map to the right trigger so we can shoot. 
and the right mouse button to the left trigger, okay? And here, guys, on mappings, we are start to adding all the mappings for the buttons of the controller. Okay, let's start with the cross button, okay? As you can see, it's not working because it's turning off the automatic bindings, but we are going to play with the left side of our controller. My suggestion is use the this trigger to jump. So let's do it. You click in the in the plus sign. You press the button so you don't have to scroll all over. While well, shock four, I'll put two position. I'm gonna select it. And next here, you have to choose which button is going to be mapped to the left trigger. All right. So it's going to be cross. And we're going to save it and close. As you can see, here's in our listens, and now I can use the cross button when I pull the trigger. All right. Next, let's go with the D-pad. Click the, the plus sign, up D-pad. It's gonna be this one, save, close. And you have to do this for all the buttons that you want to put in your controller, all right? Let me put pretty quickly. My, there he is. And there you go. Now I can use the D-pad, okay? I like to use this button, the button under under the left stick to crouch. So let's put it plus. I press the button. There it is. Is the circle. Save, close, save. And now I can use that button. I'm pressing the button and the overlay is activating, right? I like to reload with my mouse wheel up. So I'm going to go plus mouse scroll wheel up there is going to be the square button save close save and for the triangle i'm going to select the button the mouse button down so i choose like this scroll down select it and it's going to be triangle save close save and now let me show you scroll up i'm pressing the Square, scroll down, it's triangle, it's all right, jump, circle. Okay, we have those face buttons. Next, I, I like to run by pressing or holding the side mouse button, the forward mouse. So let me link it already. So I press it, there it is. Forward mouse button, there it is. And it's going to be L3, save it, close it, save it. For my melee or my uh, R3 button, I like to use the middle mouse bu uh, button. Let's go and do it like this. Middle mouse button, there it is. R3, save, close, save, okay? Now, as you can see, there is my L3 button. And my R3 button. We are going to the tricky part, you know. As you as you have noticed, uh, we haven't uh, assigned our shoulder buttons. So first, we have to use an input modifier. And as I've told you before, an input modifier is like uh, on your keyboard, the left sheet, right? When you hold down the left sheet, your keys can uh, print different characters, right? Same with scene matrix. When we hold an input modifier, our buttons are going to do different actions, okay? Or different mappings. So you go here in the three dots and we go to input modifiers. At this moment, this is our the defaults. I'm going to change this one for, I like to use this button as my input modifier, okay? I'm gonna press it to select it, there it is save now we need our left shoulder button or l1 okay so i'm going to create a new mapping my left shoulder button or l1 is going to be my left mouse button okay there it is i'm going to choose it 
at this moment is linked to my firing button, right? So in order to link it to the input modifier, you have to click here and select the input modifier. There it is. Now, which button is going to activate? We need the L1 button. There it is, save it, close it, save it. Now, if I press my left mouse button, I'm gonna shoot, right? It's only the trigger. If I hold my input modifier, I have my L1. That's it, okay? We are going to do the same for the right uh, shoulder button. So we go here. It's going to be my right mouse button. Okay, there it is. I need this input modifier. It's going to be to my R1. Save, close, save. And there you go. This is my right trigger, right? The right mouse button. If I hold my input modifier, now is my right shoulder button. Now for our options buttons, we can use the same of the controller. It doesn't matter, right? So let's let's do it. Plus, I'm going to press my options button, select it, and say that is my options button. Say there is. If you want to have your share button, same same thing. Just press it like this. Okay, share, save it. There you go. Uh, for the touchpad, same. We press the touchpad. I say this one, save, close, save. Okay. Our PlayStation button, or for the console button, right? We'll press it. There it is. Is this one, save, close. Okay, there it is. What if you want a different way to activate your Ultra? You can do it. And this is where we start to use smart actions, okay? First, you have to choose on which button you want to have your Ultra, all right? Uh, for example, we are going to use our uh, D-pad button up, okay? So I'm going to create a new mapping. I'm going to press that button. There it is. And as you know, the D-pad up button is linked to D-pad up action, okay? So we are going to need an input modifier to assign there a different action, okay? Press here, you select our input modifier, there it is. And now our Ultra, what it needs? It needs L3 and it needs to be on the smart action. You click there and there you go. Save it, close it, save it, okay? Now, if I want my Ultra, I can hold my input modifier and press up and I have my ultra. Now for the advanced part, this game works better if your aim is more uh, suitable with the game aim mechanics. Pressing the three dots and go to the behavior simulation, okay? Move to the aiming stick and add 35. Next. We go to our triggers and set up in 50. There you go. Save it. And there you go, guys. Now we have our game ready to play Marvel Rivals. It's going to be completely uh, trouble free. You may wonder which are the advantages of the hybrid setup. Well, in the first place, you don't need a keyboard. You can use your console controller. So it's going to be easier to move and easier to aim. So there you go, guys. You already have your sim config ready to play and you can find a lot of uh, sim config pre-made by the sim former room members. Uh, go to your sim metrics manager and click here on the clouds version and it's going to take you to the sim matrix library, okay? So that's it for me. I hope this video is useful for you. See you next time.